sterile, single use. Nothing we put in the nose is sterile. Right? It's just not a sterile area. And so it, it, it directs you to a degree. So when you're doing it, you're gonna attach your syringe here. I'm not gonna attach it yet because I'm just gonna kind of show you. But you ultimately want this to be aiming medial and posterior, right? So when I put it in, have it retracted. I know it's coming in this way. When I turn it, you can see this indicator on the sides. You, you can pick whatever indicator you want to look at. That's going to tell me, like I know this open one is going to tell me that when I push this in, it's going to go that direction, which is where I want it to go. Okay. And it basically goes straight down. And our goal is to make contact with the sphenopalatine palatine ganglia. Once that happens, you should see some degree of a Horner's sign. You guys, everyone know Horner's sign? A Horner's sign you'll get anytime you really contact any sort of nerve bundle or nerve ganglia, and it's going to be um, really three main things that you're going to look for. There's going to be some redness showing up in the eyes, there's going to be some eye watering, and there's actually going to be a temperature increase on that cheek, on the ipsilateral cheek. Um, sometimes, I think these kits, sometimes they use they to cover temperature to. indicator strips. They're commonly used for deployment of an anesthetic for the ganglia for chronic migraines or intractable migraines. That's not what we're using it for. So, that, and after it's deployed, pull this back up, pull it out, easy peasy. Can you use a Botox for migraines, put it in there? I don't know if Botox is like a mucosal adhering molecule or if it has to be injected. You do aesthetics. I think it has to be injected. Uh, yeah. I knew a doctor in the past used to do that. So. Okay. So for the patient, I usually like them to tilt their chin up as much as possible so that I can go as straight back as I possibly can. And I usually have them blow their nose beforehand. She already did that. So again, I'm going in with this straight. I'm going to turn it medially so that I know this goes medially. Cool? All right, my dear. Straight back here. It feels very weird, very uncomfortable. You're going to go back until you feel it against the bone. You'll turn it, you'll advance it, and then we're going to gently spray. You do both nostrils? I do. I give her a break in between. Right. Not don't that right Don't swallow. Don't swallow. <laughs> so you can see already she's starting to water and she's getting the redness. Yeah. And you can see this cheek even started to get a little more red already. Very subtle. But so we've got our Horner sign and that's confirming our placement. You can see the watering and the redness and it's mm -hmm. cool to compare. But if you feel, even feel her cheek, like if you guys want to take a feel, there's a temperature difference. Oh yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah. So that's a nice feedback confirmation, right? Like with injections, we have ultrasound with this, we got our corner sign. That wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's usually pretty easy. And the corner yeah, sign will slow. subside within a few minutes. Um, I usually just like to give them a little bit of a break in between. So again, we're gonna deploy this and I'm gonna be turning it again medially. So it's gonna come up that way and we're gonna go in that other direction. All right, you ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. So straight that. Contact bone, turn it in, push it back, and gentle deploy. So when she's done, she actually sneezes. And again, really pretty quick. We're mm -hmm. starting to water over here with redness, and, and we're warm. Can you just explain that? That I know it's medial posterior, but yeah. So this is this is your top indicator that you're looking at, uh -huh. so that you know where it's gonna go. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go on her her right side. I'm gonna turn this medially, so when I push it through, we're contacting inside like that. Got it. This feeling the palatine ganglia kind of sits posterior. Like so that. that the front is just telling you that's that's your starting point, yep. and you just want to make sure it's going medial yep. posterior. Yep. Okay. And you can practice with it too before you actually inject it so you know. So you're like, okay, which could you could inject it with it already, ha like having this already turned to the side you want it? Well, it's going to just be harder to get it down. Gotcha. Right, because okay. now it's going to stick out. So it's going to catch when you're on the inside. So the goal is you want to get it down there till you contact bone, because mm -hmm. then you know you're at that, you're at the bony prominence. And then you turn it and then take care, guys. Bye. Um, turn it and advance it or advance it then turn it. Mm -hmm. Either way, you want to make sure you make the contact first so you know you're there. Cool. I love it. Mm -hmm. When you become bionic, let us know. How long do I lay here for? Um, I usually have people lay there just for a few minutes, usually until the Horner's sign has like passed.